I know this is a little bit old and outdated, but I need to talk about this. Now, about two weeks ago or something like that, Microsoft announced that they were going to reverse their DRM policies on the Xbox One. Yes, you heard me. They are going to reverse some of their DRM policies on the Xbox One. Now, the only things that they mentioned was the fact that you don't need to connect to the internet every 24 hours to access your console, and you don't need to connect to the internet to access your games, and you can also buy used games. The question is, has, has Microsoft really redeemed themselves? Microsoft, I hate to say this, but... I think it's already a bit too late. You have already exposed yourself and you've already proven to the entire world that you simply do not care about the customer because you wanted to implement these DRM policies because you wanted control and power and just the ability to control your customers like puppets. Because when you have control and power, you have the freedom to do whatever you want. You wanted to somehow <laughs> sneak your little evil master plan over to this console, but unfortunately you couldn't do that because of heavy competition from Nintendo and Sony because they're not doing DRM on their systems, and not to mention that we're not stupid. We called out on this bullshit, and we made videos, videos about this, and we ranted about this, and you were doing this originally because you were expecting that we were gullible enough to just go ahead and accept it but we didn't, because we're smarter than that. And to all those people that complained about this, I applaud you. You guys are awesome for that. Because when we see something that's bullshit, we need to call out on these companies because we're the customers, we're the ones that have the power, and we're the ones that are in control, not them. And yet Microsoft says stuff like, Oh, well, we changed our DRM policies because we care about the gaming community. You know, Microsoft, if you legitimately cared about the gaming community, this never would have happened in the first place. The only reason why you did it was because you didn't have a choice. It was either suffer through financial hell, or use a parachute and jump out of the burning airplane to get to safety. In all of my years of gaming, I have never seen such ridiculous nonsensical fuckery as this. Back in the day, when there was a next-gen console that came out, nobody would have been worried about DRM. Nobody would have worried about connecting to the internet frequently. Nobody would have worried about not being able to buy used games. Nobody would have worried about any of that because the thought of it is ridiculous. Why is it this generation in particular that this is becoming a problem? Not implementing these things should have been basic console marketing 101. I don't know about you guys, but Microsoft is a company that scares me. And even though they announced these whole reversed policies, I still feel that there's some things that I feel kind of iffy about. For instance, Microsoft said that developers have the option to utilize the cloud network to run the games. For example, the new Forza game, the computer players that you're racing against, those computer players are not being controlled by the console's hardware or the game's programming. They're being controlled through the cloud network. And for an uh, open world RPG kind of game, developers can use the cloud network to create massive worlds. Because let's face it, why go suffer through the limitations of the hardware when you can go beyond and create bigger worlds with the cloud network? So my point I'm trying to get across here is if there's a game that requires the cloud network to run the game, then technically that's still considered a form of DRM. Because in order to you access the cloud network, you need to connect to the internet. But it actually gets a bit scarier. You know, have you ever considered that maybe later on down the road, maybe a few years from now, when the Xbox One's install base increases, that Microsoft will bring back this DRM policies back into the Xbox One? Basically just pull the rug right out from underneath it right before we expect it? It's possible, but you guys might be sitting here thinking, Oh, but Microsoft would never do that. Like, they're not that evil. I, I hate to break it to you, but yes, they have done a similar situation like that with the Kinect. 
Microsoft advertised the hell out of the product, they hyped the shit out of it, and just tons of people bought the Kinect, and two years after when the Kinect was released, Microsoft stepped out and said, we're going to put in a patent for the Kinect, and this patent allows us to spy on you for the Kinect. Let me ask you this question. If they announced this patent before the Kinect was released, do you think anybody would have bought the Kinect? All they had to do was just wait until enough people bought the Kinect and then just pull the lever. Because when you buy that product, you're under their control. And the only way to escape it is by selling it. And they hate that. But even if you don't like the Kinect, you cannot deny that that is sick and fucked up. You know, nobody should have to go through that. And if Microsoft can... If Microsoft did this with a Kinect, there is a possibility, I can't guarantee it, but there is a possibility that they could probably do the same thing with the Xbox One. And the possibility that exists actually scares me. The whole point to this video is not to tell you to not get an Xbox One, but basically all I'm saying is just keep those thoughts in mind and hold on to that grain of salt. Because for me, personally, this whole reverse policy thing seems very fishy and out of place. Especially considering that Microsoft is a company that has a piss poor track record and they have a history of scamming people. Even today, they're still scamming people. Examples? Um, charging you for online multiplayer for Xbox Live, charging you for advertisements, charging you a $100 wireless adapter for the original model Xbox 360, and now a patent that is gives them the ability to spy on you? I'm sorry, but this whole thing with Microsoft that's going on right now, it's just really unfitting and just out of place, and it just feels so unpredictable right now. Myself and many other people in the gaming community have lost so much respect for Microsoft. It's gotten to the point now where I just can't trust them anymore.